Welcome to episode 87 of Let's Talk Geek. In the show, quick iPad 3 review. Winter is coming, as are e-tags. And the Mass Effect 3 ending backlash. Thank you for watching and listening. Eighty-seven in the show today. We have Jan from Yellen, Gareth from Yellen, Johan Els, and Tim Hawk. Uh, we will get directly into the events. Uh, only big uh, thing. Da, 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 da. And the mixer. And the mixer. Sorry, mixer. Don't forget the mixer. Very important. Yes, One day confused. we'll get the mixer a soundboard, and then the mixer can speak to us in a Darth Vader voice. Did you know that she does? The that mixer doesn't need a soundboard for that. <laughs> <laughs> that the Darth Vader, that the Darth Vader voice, it has been scientifically proven by Tom Tom on April first that uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I fail. Okay, yes, keep going. <laughs> that that Darth the Darth Vader voice on Tom Tom makes babies laugh. Scientifically, scientifically proven. proven. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it's the random. <laughs> uh, only thing that's actually happening is Upcon on the fourteenth and fifteenth. Uh, it's basically a role-playing event. Uh, they're going to have uh, dress-up. I know last time that lots of... We call that cosplay. Cosplay is the word. I just <laughs> could remember it. Magic the Gathering. I know they play... Uh, be some D&D there. D&D. Warhammer. Do Warhammer 40K. Pokemon? Maybe some Lord of the Rings. I don't uh, know. Maybe... Live flopping. Maybe they do some Pokemon now. Uh, I see there was an article online gaming about... Pokemon, the card game. Pokemon, man. the card game. I think they had some last year. Oh, interesting. Give me a geek card. <laughs> See, but, the problem no. with the geek universe is so why there is something you will not know about yes and, and this is why I think that we just need to like uplift all 50 million South Africans so that we can all be geeks so that the geek culture can be bigger so that we can play obscure games and have a critical mass of people in the country to play them with German style board okay, games but still Pokemon yes yeah, yeah, there's, there's enough oh, games wait, wait, in this wait. country to actually have tournaments yeah uh, well, it, there was one in any recently? better than any other game or worse because it's Pokemon. And? Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do your kids play? Not or Pokemon. Watch. Not Pokemon. Bonnie. I, I, Bonnie, Heidi, Pinocchio. Oh, good. So good animation. Okay, there I was just go. about to say the animation quality of today, I'm a little disappointed with it. If you watch the animation quality from our days. <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah, the story's a little weak, but I much prefer He-Man and Brave Star. Go watch it again. I, I, Brave Star I've was good. Thundercats. Brave, and Thundercats. Thundercats is very good. Have you watched the new one? No. Apparently okay. it's been pulled. They there was a new it. episode recently. Really? Apparently, they've, they've, they've stopped it. They're not renewing Thundercats. Okay. The remake. Sad. I was sort of enjoying it. But it was sort of... Ah, anyway. Topics. <laughs> <laughs> Tablet stats. Um, yeah, interesting. So, Worldwide Works, for those who don't know um, who that is, it's a research firm in South Africa. Arthur Goldstock. Yeah, headed up by Arthur Goldstock, mm -hmm. exactly. And um, so, he's been trying to get a, get a handle on what South Africa's tablet market's like. So... Um, he released some stats to us, but then just after we went live with the article, he got updated stats from Samsung and Vodacom. And so the updated stuff is that our tablet stats uh, or our tablet market in South Africa is about 400,000 strong. Of those 400,000 units sold, 205,000 around are iPads. So iPad controls just over 50% of the market, which I think is pretty surprising. I would have, have expected it to be yeah, stronger. like in the rest of the world, that's iPad controls well over 80%? I, I yeah, and I also expect it to be a lot Keep going. What, yeah. what, and so 45% so of the market goes to Samsung on its Galaxy tabs. Samsung alone. Samsung alone. Wow. And but so they estimate that the rest of the market is about 15,000 tablets. So the Asus Transformer, as, as Kharit is using here next to me, um, and, and other tablets in the space, the Huawei S7 Slurm, the Acer uh, Iconia, all those guys, they make up a straggling... Percentile. So the two most expensive tablets are dominating the market. No, iPads not. The iPads most not the most expensive. This is what what I find iPad most. Is curious. At a good price in South Africa. Exactly, the iPads price point in South Africa almost beats most of the guys back. The only guys really competing with it are Acer and Asus, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Everybody See, else is the, pricing the problem, themselves out of the market. No, no, the, the problem that everyone else is uh, is experiencing is that they're putting out a high end tablet. So you have a 32 gig Wi-Fi 3G tablet, and you have no other choice other than that tablet. So you don't have, with, like with the iPad, you have a 16 gig Wi-Fi version at, that's cheap. And people are going for those ones. Yeah. Where uh, the only other ones that I can <coughs> think of that actually offers a tablet like that is the Asus Transformer, the, the, which is the priced, problem is I think, 100 Rand cheaper Offer those different iPad. options, you, you need to know that enough, you will sell enough volume. So if, you, if you're just importing one module, uh, one version, mm. you know you will sell it. 
and you'll make it's up the, the cost too room. high. Well, Samsung's forty five percent. Exactly. Uh, I'm guessing people are buying that on contract. Yes, exactly. And that's, uh, that was interesting. Is that so they're getting subsidized for buying those things. Question is, can you get the iPad on contract? No. You can. What? You can through... FNB. A, a, yes, but also um, iStore now runs contract specials with Vodacom. Uh, and you can get it through DigiCap. So Vodacom, MTN, and ATA have contracts. Okay, but that's now. So okay. the statue we're looking at... But aren't those data contracts... With I an iPad included kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's still a contract. But the, the data the, from the statistics did not include the contract option. No, it? it did. It includes everything. Okay, what but I'm saying is when did the iPad available on contract start? Um, yeah, that was, that was sometime last year. So, I mean, r the stats track from like 2010. Um, okay, so that's not really the impact. So the stats are saying that people are buying iPads out of their pockets. Yeah, I would say so. And, and if it's interesting. Um, 20,000 of those iPads, of the 205, were bought, were gray imports. Which I think is, I mean, that's a significant amount of gray imports. That's a lot. Um, then uh, like 150 or so thousand um, were bought through official retail channels and 35,000 uh, were FNB. Oh. FNB sold more iPads than were imported through gray channel. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but if you go and look, if you, um, uh, if you go and look at the maths on the FNB. It's a cheap iPad. Well, it, you're paying cost, paying it off over two years with no interest. Yeah, it's oh. brilliant. So I do, do wish because the, with FNB you don't get the higher versions. You only get the lower ones. Well, they had to pick a model. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying gr great deal. I'm not, not yeah. complaining about it. I just wish I would have gone for the deal if they offered. And I know Cecilia would have gone for the deal if they offered the higher ones. So I know I've got the 64 gig, the version 1 iPad. But I am actually using more than 32 gigs. So I would have to. But I am not your typical user. I, I am aware of that. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Into our next whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you using? Just for interest sake, just a good question. What are you using your bulk of your storage for? Apps. So you actually... What? Yeah, he, he has a lot of games. Okay, so it's and games. Sorry, games big get, difference. Yes, big difference. Games, no, games really will big. get you like two gigs of... Easily. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so your most of your storage is being used by, by yes. games, right? And, and, and our, the good our, games. Also, on the iPhone, video... Uh, the wife shot a lot of video and I haven't... Ah, I say so shot yet. video, yeah. not, not uploaded video. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, that needs to be yanked off because I can't back up my phone to iCloud now. Um, <laughs> I've run out of space on iCloud. And um, yeah, the rest is also just apps, photo. Uh, I think photos are probably shot photos because yeah. I don't pull them off of the device. I'm a lazy user that way. But I mean, I, um, Google Plus sorts that out. Yeah, I guess, but I still leave my photos on the oh, device. Yeah, I still leave it, yeah. yeah because yeah. you want to add a bra, show somebody something. Exactly, yeah. Carrot, what's most of your storage being used for? On what? On your tablet. Uh, I don't think I use that much on my tablet, to be honest. I have a memory card in there with a, a movie or two on it, maybe, and then some books. That's it. Um, um, no music. Because you stream. Yeah, because uh, I, yeah, I stream by Google Music, and the music goes on my phone. Phone. So or most of the mode. storage on my phone is... Uh, for music is audio yeah. and audiobooks. Audiobooks, um, yeah. An audiobook take, take so yeah, on my chunk. on my tablet, yeah, it's mostly PDFs, manuals for work stuff. Mm. So yeah, you you oh, you well. using it for gaming? Oh, but the iPad. On oh, my phone, okay. I know it's Spotify. Yeah, uh, I, I do have a bunch of games on here. I haven't actually checked how much space else. that takes. No, yeah. I'm just trying to determine because no, look, I, I know I I have the iPad for nothing constructive. Yes, I, okay. I, I, I use it maybe for a little bit of browsing, and then it's it's sort of a. a a scribble notes playing device. Yes. I'm, I'm asking the question specifically because <laughs> you're saying that the 32 gig or the 16 gig device is not enough. But if you actually go and look at what you're using in storage, when you get the device initially, yeah, you install a bunch of crap. Okay, then you fill up the storage and then you're done. But when you start getting used to how you use your tablet, then that storage I actually is enough. I also have a enough. whole bunch of podcasts on there. All the video ones for testing our stuff. But I mean, um, and that used, I have, I've deleted a whole ton of them, but that used most of the space as well. But I mean, but you rotate that weekly, so it should not take that much. So it's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. Interesting. But it's, I'm not a typical user. I, I'm aware of it. Anyway. Cool. Before we move on, um, we have the new iPad in studio. It is I know, so pretty. I know. I don't it's know pretty, why. It's pretty. Um, so well, it's I figured I'd, so I'd bring pretty. it with. I recently got to review it for my broadband. Yeah. So um, this, this is the one that we reviewed and that I did the hands-on on and that Gareth uh, ended up reviewing, yeah. um, otherwise known as the iPad Three, as we've decided to call it. Uh, I'm you still feel down free with to calling it iFred. Uh, uh, pan us and IRC as much <laughs> as you like. Giveaway. Unfortunately, not this one. There are <laughs> a couple of others. This is Rudolph's iPad. <laughs> we cannot give it away. He will skin us. Will it? Ooh, will it blend? <laughs> so, uh, quick, uh, three-minute on-air review. iPad Three. Go. 
Summary of your story. Don't change your mind now. <laughs> okay, well, no. You gave I, it 90. Let's start I, I gave it. A, I gave it a very good score. They haven't changed much with the actual design. It's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit heavier. You, honestly, I don't think you're going to notice Wait. it. It's thicker and heavier than the iPad 2. Yes. And it's already, I mean, have you tried reading in bed with it? Yes. And it gets heavy? No. It's not an iPad 1. It's not an iPad 1. Eventually, it will get heavy. Eventually. But that is a very, very long eventually. Um, screen, dude. The screen. the screen. That is probably the main reason you're going to be interested in buying that thing. The screen is gorgeous. Yeah. There's no getting around it. That, <coughs> that, that screen is absolutely beautiful. I want it just for that screen, except I don't want it. <laughs> because of? iTunes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me. That, that's my, my own, those yeah. are my own personal hang-ups with iTunes. Um, and then and, another and big question that always gets, for that. gets asked um, after we've done hands-on on reviews is there have been complaints about it getting hot in the top left corner. I oh. didn't mention it in the review because I never experienced I, that I, I, I was If I don't mention it, I don't experience to it. To another part co- where they've done more research now and apparently it gets it, it, fractionally If you use it Android for tablets. a long enough time playing one of the heavy games where the CPU is maxing out, it gets slightly warm in the top corner but not badly so there are there have apparently been one or two of them that have gotten hot and they say pretty much if you go in and you you can get a a replacement because that's actually a faulty device and the the guy that had had something like that said he's his new one didn't have that problem. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, so, I've had phones that get that I, get hotter than that. I, I think I think that we have to take some more questions from the IRC. Okay. For Fire example, away. does it run Linux? Um, <laughs> it, it can it play Crisis? iOS. It it has Crisis. Um, what's the mobile? There's a mobile. No, not Crisis. My bad. Sorry. Carry will will on. it no. get heavy after loading lots of data? Yes. Is it Lord of the Rings heavy? <laughs> oh, in, Master Frodo. Uh, no, a, no, as no. in after a very long period of time, it tries to strangle you. <laughs> it sounds like no, that. Well, I think the question is more around if you're trying to read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so when you are lying in bed trying to read Lord right, of the Rings. Right. That is an excellent comparison. I will use that from now on. Garrett, we have one question. We're not going to show this on, on, on screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was from a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if, if she finds that out, she'll kill me. Um, that's a friend of mine. All right. Were these photos a, a, taken on the device? No, those were taken with my a D3100. Proper camera. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. With um, a... 35. That's fine. Yeah, with an then, then the, second, the second last question is, can it make neutrinos go faster than light? Can it help me find needles in haystacks? Now, real questions from Hello Kitty. Thank you, Hello Kitty, for submitting an actual question. Is, is the screen that much better than the iPad 2? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, yes. I, I put this thing next to, I didn't have an iPad 2. We did put it next to an iPad 1, which is basically the same screen, I think. <laughs> and yes. And I put it next to my Asus Transformer, and it is... Uh, I will, yeah, uh, show my flab. That's cool. Uh, it is some, gorgeous. No, no, no. Jan, at some point in time, I was thinking of upgrading to a new tablet this year, and I was totally sold on going for the Transformer or the pad phone when it comes uh-huh. out. I now... I, I was like, this is too pretty. It's just... The I, screen is too I do too have good. a however to put in there. I'm not totally convinced that if you're on an iPad 2, you should upgrade to an iPad 3. But you're on an iPad 1. You're on an iPad iPad 1. I think you should upgrade. If you're on an iPad 2, don't look at the iPad 3. I was going to say, wait a year. Yes. But don't look at the iPad 3 because that screen is going to make you go, maybe I should just buy it. Yeah, maybe I should splash four grand and not eat this month. Yes. Um, So, well, five grand. Four grand is the cheap iPad 2 option now. Then, um, hopefully the last question is um, camera. Camera quality, much better than the well, iPad Well, that's 2. why I've been taking photos. And I must say... But if you're walking around if, with an iPad taking you're photos... T- taking photos with your tablet... I, I'm going to be blunt here, you're doing it wrong. Okay. Um, your iPhone 4S, which you probably have if you have an iPad 3, is going to take better photos because that uh, is a combination you- of the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4... So it has the special optics from the iPhone 4S, but a 5 megapixel sensor. So it's good. Also remember, no flash. So in darkness, it's pitch black. Okay, but you, I don't think you're going to try and take photos of your girlfriend. You're going to try and take photos of documents. So it, that's, that's, It'll uh, handle that. It's a, it's a good camera. Using it as a spy device now, what? No, no using what? it as a scanner type of thing. So when you, when you need to take photos. There, yes. Because no, you, fried roadkill has it. Take the iPad to a rock concert and record the band. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, Do that. Okay. I, it might be better than what, one other question I did see there, which is actually quite relevant. Does it have the same connector as the previous, same charging connector? Yeah, it's the yeah. same 30 pin Apple connector that they've At, been cool. using for years. And the same, years. whatever, um, they've got like, it's, I think, 10 watt 
charger. Yeah, they ship with it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But What's right. this rotation lock button? Uh, that's on the side. Over what there. is this? You can actually set that. It's either volume on. It's either uh, mute. It's either mute. And Switch. volume on, or you can set it to be a rotation and lock, I love so that it doesn't that. rotate. It so is, that I use so it as a rotation lock. I use lock. it all, all the time. Yes, so it's so very so now handy. when you move it, and where I use it is when I'm reading reading books in, in bed. It. Yes, so then I lock it in this, and then when I lie on my side or wherever yeah. I move, it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah the gyroscope. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, I think we should a, move on. Yes. <laughs> sorry, last comment. As a non-Apple user, if you're going to drop this thing on your face, it's going to leave a mark. Yes. If you yeah, this edge is sharp. Yes. Yeah, but if you drop it, it's also gone. But no, 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 I, mean, I mean, I'd rather drop sleep my face in the ground. <laughs> sleep, get it falling asleep. This thing will cut you. Has there been any anyway. photos on, on YouTube? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Rotten.com. I got cut iPad by my injuries. Injuries. Okay. So, Sorry, that was quite a stuck there. And, and, and onto something a little less happy. <laughs> so, so, since the people were asked to be out of cons and their favorite uh, topic, which is tolling. Yes. We're talking about e-tags. Ah, um, uh, yes. Apparently, they're going live this week, the testing. With so tests, if yes. you have an e-tag and it starts beeping... It's not cho- it should it should not yeah, be charged. Thank yeah. you. Remember yeah. that last time when they launched eTag, they started sending people threatening letters that they need to pay their accounts. Do you remember that? Yeah, because the every time they SMS you to say how much your total is, they took that SMS money off your account. <laughs> so people ended up with an SMS a week, I think, remember? And then they ended up with a negative account and then they got threatening letters. So yeah, e tolling letting you know your balance is what your balance is, takes thirty cents off and they end up in a negative. I mean like <laughs> Yeah, anyway. So, and on top of that, very confusing <coughs> messages we're getting from Sunroll this week, but uh, it's very easy to cut through the bull. Um, first article comes up that says they want to make e tags compulsory. They want to work it into the law, into the Criminal Procedures Act, I should add. So, they want to make it criminal to not own an e tag. <laughs> and also give um, police rights to the guys that are not police. Yes, exactly. Yes. To, to be able to enforce To be able it. to take your license if you don't have an e tag. <laughs> No, no, not so much to They can basically search your car and demand any document out of your car if they stop you. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so then an article then an article came through the SARPA wire just after that going, oh, no, but it's not compulsory. So, yes, it's not compulsory. Backpedal, backpedal. Yet. Sorry. They want to make it compulsory. Just a, a, a question from somebody in Cape Town. What, is, what are e tags? Yeah, that's nice. You'll, you'll get your turns coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now let's also just go over in case somebody doesn't know. Um, basically, in Cape Town, we've got these new toll roads that are coming through. Um, basically, tolling anything. No, no, no. The roads are there already. Now they're trying to figure out how they're going to pay for them. Yeah. yeah they've, so they've they started, they decided to toll. Um, and part of these things is they, they want you to actually, everyone to get a tag inside their car to make the tolling a lot simpler and to track people a lot easier um, rather than just doing on number plates and then trying to track the people through the postal system this one you've got to sign up and it tracks and you can link it to your bank account or get a prepay for this <clears throat> and sign apparently some horrendous contract to do it um, and that's essentially what the e-tags are and apparently they beep depending whether they're working or not so if yours are beeping and yeah, three there, times or one time or well with uh, if, if you're on prepaid It'll beep to let you know that you're close to done. <laughs> like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it'll, it'll beep to let you know that you need to put more funds on your yeah. tag. And after, if you actually do keep on driving, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Are you going to run into the negative or are they going to send you a fine? So no, you run into the negative. So, yeah, so, so quick predictions around the table. They have hiked the petrol price, I think, 73 cents. Uh, and I think three times in a row now. Yeah, uh, it is Easter weekend though. That's something to keep in mind. Around Easter, it always goes up. Okay, yeah, it's gone up quite a bit. So it's gone up a lot. But it's now. gone. It's gone up the third time in a row, and it's yeah. been significant hikes every single time. Do you think they're hiking the petrol price to pay for? No, you don't think no. so. No, no. The, the 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 oil cost has actually been going up, mm. and it has been going up a lot recently. So there is actually quite a close correlation between the petrol price and the oil price, the, the raw oil price increase. Yes, yes. And, and you, you hear it all the time. At Classic Business, they're talking about our ira- uh, dependence on Iranian oil, blah, blah, blah. Now, put this, this, this increase also included the extra road tax from the Minister of Finance speech. So okay. Um, and if they were increasing it to put this tax on, why not just do it? Because, you know, 
we love it when two months later they say, oh, by the way, that increase is actually paying for this. We call far more outrage than outrage than actually going, by the way, we've got an increase and this is why it's there. Yes, yes. So a um, couple of questions um, from, the, uh, from the IRC again is, uh, is it not against the Credit Act? Okay, no, not a lawyer. But what I can mention is that the, the whole e-tag system, the whole Gauteng uh, freeway improvement project tolling system is being questioned and there are some heavy hitters behind some of these uh, protest groups. We spoke in previous episodes about OTA, um, yeah. so, uh, which is a fairly unfortunate name. But uh, regardless, these guys have uh, significant backing to protest this thing. And, um, and to be honest, they, they say that the, the, this thing can be challenged on so many levels, ending up eventually in constitutional court. So, so the question is, do you think it's actually going to be live at the end of this month? Or, or are they going to get it... To- Put delayed again. Yeah, yeah, and and I think that they might even try to make it live, and to convince people that it is live, um, but that it's just going to get challenged yeah. because there are there are guys with big money riding on this thing that are going to challenge it and will only accept it once the courts have ruled, in you know in a fair court that it is so, and I'm talking about guys like the AA, like uh, car rental companies, so they've and yeah, and they've got they've got huge money. Uh, riding on this and it's going to affect their business drastically cool um, and few, a whole bunch of other things Food, anyway I don't yeah, want yeah, to get yeah, no, <laughs> we but, take but show last, we comment, the last comment I think Tim has still got a bicycle in his garage he's trying to sell if anybody needs it so. <laughs> hey, <I'm laughs> that's not mine that's Cecilia's if that disappears I'm dead okay alright he does not have a bicycle <laughs> so if it to sell disappears we know who took it yeah, yeah. back to iPads for the price of two iPads you can sequence one human genome why? <laughs> All right. How? All right. So the reason this guy um, invented uh, – so there's a machine. What, what has he invented? Yeah. So he's invented a machine that's supposed to go in hospitals. Okay. And uh, what happened was is his child was rushed to like an emergency ward, you know, like infant ICU kind mm-hmm. of thing. And um, the doctor didn't know what was going on. And it, you, know, you know how yeah. it is when, uh, you know, like newborn child, you don't know what's cutting. And um, they're so fragile. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, mess with things too much. So, and, he's, and he went, there's got to be a better way, a faster way, a cheaper way to figure out what's going on. And so he invented this machine, um, so, which has a fancy name. Uh, the it, Ion it, Torrent. There we go. The ion, yeah. which is the cool first name. semiconductor-based sequencer in the and, world. And look, it's an aptly named because apparently it does use the ions of the as it's going through each. <clears throat> we had someone describe sort of me, and I can't remember half of it. In, in, in your genome, you've got the four different bases. Bases. Yes. And as it's Adenine, taking guanine, each guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Well done. Cool. I, I told you we needed him on the show. Yeah, yeah we I actually need the person who, who put the, put the link in that, because that, that, I, put, where, I put the link. That's in. with DNA. okay. If you're working with RNA, you have uracil <laughs> in place of one of the other ones. The, I'm, I actually am impressed. Um, but apparently, as it's reading each line off or something, it, it looks at the ion count and uses that to work out what the sequence is. So it is aptly named for that. But we do a lot of ion things. We have ion cannon the other Ion yeah, cannons, ion, ion, ion cannon. torrents. Yeah, I love it. So, um, yeah, and so basically, but now to put things in perspective, you pay $1,000, so the price of two iPads is where this com- comes from, to sequence one human genome. It's not for the machine. This is consumable. So every single time you run this machine to sequence a single human genome. Which honestly is not bad. Yeah, what isn't cheap. mentioned in the article is how long it takes. It's uh, two hours apparently. The mixer looked it up. Okay. Which so, is, which is also as fast. pretty impressive. Um, that, that, yeah, usually takes You're a You're going to go into why he's done this. Uh, I've mentioned it. It's right. because it's because his child was in, uh, yeah, was right. in ICU and, and that whole story. So very interesting machine, and um, the they, they sum it up very neatly at the end of the article. For those of you uh, who are watching the show live, you now have access to the Google Doc. Welcome, and uh, for those of you watching the watching the video recorded, it should be in the show notes. Um, they sum it up very nicely at the end by saying this isn't a magic bullet. It's not a magic wand, but it's a start. And so you know, with machines like this and machines like this developing. Uh, doctors will soon have a far better understanding of exotic diseases um, that are, are, are sometimes difficult to diagnose. Also, as time expands, it's cheaper and cheaper. Yep. Exactly. It's because a good starting now, point. Now, because they're also Thank you, semiconductors, Moore. we're using Moore's law. Yeah. Cool bananas. Which actually 
doesn't follow the Moore's law actually isn't what everybody thinks is where it's not doubling of speed. It's actually every I think one point seven months there's yes, a doubling every, of the quantity of transistors. Every yes, eighteen in months, a, every yeah, eighteen months doubling is doubling. Of Yes. Anyway, just anyway, so correct the law. sticking yes. with the same public, same uh, group of publications, that previous article was from Fast Coexist. This is from Fast Co Create. Um, there is a company called Otoy. I have not. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Otoy, who has developed a piece of technology that scans in your face and banks it, like stores it for all time, and then as an actor, for example, you can go on screen, you can act in a film, and they can edit your old They will remap face. your face back y on. Yes, so you're still playing the character, but they'll put a younger face on there. I, I, so you're whoa. Arnold Schwarzenegger, man, <coughs> making Terminator 9. So well, they can finally reboot Predator. <laughs> I, I don't think they need to remap, remap Predator's face. <laughs> Sorry, just um, my one thing is they do spin this quite nicely saying no young actors can save their faces and when they're old they can look young again the other way that this can be used is that you can have different actors w that are cheaper using the people's faces and they yes, can rent they, different and, they, and then you just similar royalties uh, I'm assuming they need to have a similar facial structure no it actually maps it onto your face as your face moves wow they remap dude we've life. been doing this in computers for how long in, in, 3D, in 3D games they just now have the technology to do it Faster, better, and, and if you, you read about this, half the problem is actually apparently the storage because you've got actually storage the amount of data you've actually got to store, mm. and the complexity of the storage is actually where the problem comes in, not so much in the remapping of it. So, this has only been done for very select scenes so, and sort of select yeah. faces. How much data do they have to store if that's the I, problem? I don't know. Apparently, they, they've done some fancy thing because apparently, it's you almost got to you've got to store as uh, your skin is very different between every single person. Um, and depending on how the capillaries work and all the rest of it, uh, and the light shines on it, it actually changes how it works. So with these guys, they've got this thing that surrounds your entire face light, and they actually alter the, the light and darkness across the face to actually build up all these different, how it's going to look in different lighting, how it's going to look from different angles, um, and you're going to store all that information plus the complexity, uh, and there's the first, the first step actually just stores your face. Mm. The second one, which you pay, but you pay more for, will store any expression you do. So they make you go through a whole range, range of expressions. If it's Sylvester Stallone, that's really cheap. Yes. Then you don't need it. <laughs> or or, or yeah. is it Kirsten or Kristen Stewart? <laughs> or, 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 no, have you seen her in Runaways? She's I, I actually incredible. Or, or any of the new people with Botox. I can't remember <laughs> what, which movie I went to go. I walked out halfway because both of the lead actors' faces didn't move. It was like, it was just so irritating. I am so happy now. And now I'm sad. It's like, <laughs> they can show you angry, though. They can no. kick you in the shins. And so, and okay. so to, to, to so talk about geeky things. Honored first person to go into this machine don't know they don't say actually don't they say no so it had to be chuck norris <laughs> <laughs> chuck, chuck norris, norris used this machine this last city. year <laughs> oh, yeah. any case yeah so um so uh, a geeky comment from the irc is a a a, a well-loved science fiction movie that's being rebooted total recall um, which trailer looks interesting. Yeah, right? and it yes, would have been. It's apparently, I, I'm going to miss uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Story. Yeah, it's di it diverges from the original source material. It diverges from the original movie. I think it's closer to the original source material than the previous movie. No. So, so basically, they're re retaining the name to, to get people who like. And, and the same the kind same of storyline. No, they're not on Mars. Apparently. Oh yes, they're not on Mars. That's so correct. the original book was on Mars. The original movie was on Mars. The Actual remake. But Talk, talking the trailer go, looks on good. on Earth, yes. going off topic, uh, John Carter, which I still must go watch, apparently is incredibly good. But apparently he's tanking. Because not enough people are going to watch it because it's very sci-fi. Oh. But for our audience, apparently for the people yeah, who yeah. have watched it. I don't know. It's it open be, in South Africa. I'll, it's been up for about two, three weeks. weeks. Okay, cool. Before it goes off, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah, I must go also because show my support. Very good. We, we I've need added to add the movies highly to recommended. Stardates again. Are they? Oh, are they? We just don't talk about them that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunger Games. Is Hunger yeah. Games out in South Africa? Starting okay. next week. Yep. Okay, well, I did read the book and I was kind of disappointed. So I'm not sure if I want to see the movie. <laughs> well, on the radio this afternoon, they were saying that it's Yeah, I know. The reviews for good. the movie are raves. No, the, 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 the box office is doing very well. Yes, I know. Talking so, about yeah. disappointments, can we talk about Mass Effect 3 now? I'm going to try go, to keep go, it go not it. spoilerific. I, I, which I is very difficult. <laughs> I'm not planning on playing oh, it. Uh, I, I think we should No, no, quickly. <laughs> 
apparently the ending sucks. Uh, uh, they, well, I'm going to say that the, there has been a lot of backlash yeah, to the ending. Yeah, there's a conspiracy ending. theory too. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'll... I'm not going to get into it because that's going to spoil anything for anybody who still needs to play the game this Easter weekend. And I know there's a lot of guys who saved it for this Easter weekend when they've got a lot of time off to play the game because it's 40 hours of gaming if you do all the side quests and stuff. And, and, uh, but I have heard there's this theory that uh, there's going to be some DLC downloadable content yes. to get you a proper ending and basically they'll hold you for ransom to have a decent ending. Yeah, I, I, and I've heard a rumor contrary to that. Once again, I don't want to say too much because I'm, I'm already... Uh, I, I, I don't know how much I can say without giving too much away. How's the engine? Um, it, it looks far better than Mass Effect 2. Okay. So it's very interesting, like the, especially the facial textures. It looks like they've put a lot of detail into the, into the textures. Are they finally on Half-Life 2 quality? Dude, Mass Effect 2 <laughs> trounced Half-Life. Well, in terms of general graphics, yes, but facial quality, Half-Life 2 also had a... Oh, the, the yummy, yes. no, the yappy, the, yappy, the yappy, yappy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah the, the, I must say that the lip syncing is far better in Mass Effect okay. 2 than it was in Mass uh, Effect 2. Um, I must say one thing they have said is, except for the ending, apparently the rest of the game is very good. I have I haven't never played it. I've ne I don't know it, but I'm just checking. Is this correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this is your experience. Yeah. So um, uh, I I really enjoyed the game. I loved what they did with the story. It is one of the most epic science fiction stories I've ever experienced. That speaking as someone who loved Battlestar Galactica, who loved Firefly and Serenity, Mass Effect. Even Devil Pagan. Mass Effect qualifies story wise with those greats, in my opinion. Do, but you're, you're saying at least it doesn't surpass. Okay. I'm not yet. Okay. I'm, I'm going to move us on a bit faster. Absolutely. <coughs> Nag Online, do we want to mention this very quickly? Sure. Nag, uh, Nag's announced that they are, uh, they've got their online section and they've got content going up there, but I think the big announcement here was that they are launching on Zinio. And they're partnering with a new distributor. Yes, yes. and they've switched distributors. But I mean, I don't think the end user really cares about that. Um, so what Who's Zinio? Sorry. Zinio is a, let's call it an online, online magazine platform. Dude, uh, it's an app. Yes, it's an app for iOS and Android. Uh, don't ask me about Windows, I'm not sure. But, but then it lets you get your physical magazines in a digital format on your tablet or your phone or whatever, so that you can I mean, read them wherever you go. My mag, .co.za, has got most of the magazines in the country already. So why, why would this platform not actually survive? Zinio. Zinio yeah. is doing quite Zinio well. Zinio is doing itself. quite well. It's got financial mail on there. They like have South African okay, mag. They, they don't just do. No, wait. They, they do magazines. Newspapers is something else. They, no, I Zinio. I think they have some newspapers as well. I think they do newspapers. Well, so all of the, the print content that needs to go digital. Sorry, is what were you comparing digital. it to, Johan? I missed My that. mags. Oh, I haven't used My Mags at all. No, I know same. Zinio. But well, I actually gave it a bash in well. December. And if you go look at My Mags, I mean, it doesn't have an app. Build, shift. Um, oh, wait, does it have see, an app? Yes. The, the thing with wait, Zinio as well is they. Um, get Sorry. their app pre-installed on a lot of devices. Yeah, Samsung devices, for example, Samsung, all come kind of pre-installed in Zinio. might actually be on this And in fact, well. um, before Zinio was available on handhelds, on phones, only Samsung phones had it. Otherwise, you had to have a tablet to install Zinio. So that was quite interesting. Mm. And then why would these guys not consider just going to PDF? Uh, I, so that's what I was going to say is uh, popular mechanics which we have, if you, if you get the subscription, you can also get a free subscription or pay for the subscription to the PDF format. So every week I get an email, there's a new PDF, I go and download it. Because um, I, I never have time to have the actual physical map. I drop into my Dropbox folder and wherever I am when I need it, I've got, got the um, popular mechanics. Sorry, read. my subs. I do apologize. I just want to correct that. It's my subs. But yeah, so, so popular mechanics has decided to go that route. Because these magazines are, are so, okay, some of them are monthly and some of them are weekly. So piracy should not be a problem. I'm sorry. But then I tried this my, my subs over the December holidays. And it just, no, I want a PDF. I want something I can zoom where I want it. My only issue, sure I want it. Uh, what, what the other thing I would really like, um, but it makes for fairly boring layouts, is Kindle. Because a PDF on a Kindle doesn't always translate too well, but a Kindle is by far my preferred reading device. Mm. Yes. So and I know for magazines it's with, not great. For, for a magazine it's not great because you're not getting the color content. Yeah. So Man. You want that on, one, I just want to read. Habit. One okay. advantage of the apps, I must say, is the digital delivery, which is just very easy. You just mm. when a new comes in, you just click on your app, and it's going to be there. It's with, like with Zinio, why, I think you don't even need to click. You can just tell it to download the new versions. Yeah. Okay. Just itself. to come back to my dad being a publisher on Amazon, they have released. Uh, extended layouts and color. Mm. So there's a lot of magazine. Uh, you'll see a lot of books actually. Look in the photo section. There is book, color books coming out. Have, have so with the Kindle Fire, I think, being announced, they've realized now they've released. got to consider. Sorry, release. No, no, this is actually more going to be a reply to the new iPad books format. 
which does this. Yeah, oh, yes, so they've had to way. respond. This is why competition is a lovely yes. thing. Yes. Talking about competition, we've had inter um, IP Connect price cuts in South Africa. That cost has forced down. 30%. Yeah, 30%. Significant price cuts. Something people um, may be misinterpreting is that IP Connect really only speaks to the ISP part of your ADSL connection. Your line rental, that 452 Rand you pay for a 4 meg line, that's still... That's, telcom. that's still all goes to Telcom, so, all still the same. That's not getting cut so at all. I was just just explain the breakdown. So when you get your ADSL line, you're going to pay for the ADSL line, which no, you're first going to pay for you're that. First going to pay for a Telcom phone line. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then you pay for the ADSL bit, which is also Telcom, which allows you to then connect over IPC to your provider. Yes. Now your provider pays for the IPC into their data center, and then they pay for another line from there out to the internet. So this is pretty much sort of a quarter of the price uh, breakup. So in a 30% divided by four would be more closer to what discounts you'll be getting. Yep. So um, we've had comment from various big players in the ISP space saying that we can look forward to price cuts. So there are? Yes. Okay. So significant price cuts was the wording being used. Um, so I'm, I'm stoked. I'm excited to see uh, That's what... It's going to be interesting. Yeah, because I mean, this is another pricing shakeup, like hopefully on the order of what Seacom introduced, maybe. Um, uh, you know, just, just so, because okay, the market now, now has to change and normalize again. So why not duke it out and normalize? I mean, I'm not saying... We're paying a fair price at the moment. Keep the money, give me a better service. Well, um, in what sense? Because we have fairly good services in this country... Already, well, as good as we can offer over the infrastructure that's available. Okay. Um, so, uh, I mean, I think MWeb has struck like a very good balance for an uncapped product. I think the other guys offering uncapped could do with offering a bit high quality uncapped service um, from my last experience using them. Um, but other than that, um, I mean, slash the, slash the prices of capped products. I'm done with that. So, or to quote Tim, that's not concentrating, give us more upstream. Yeah, yes. um, that, yes. that would be great to, to s- and that's hopefully something that uh, I don't know if this is an IP Connect limitation, um, but I'm really hoping for more varied products with something like IP Stream that lets the I mean, ISP, you know, have lower level access to the ADSL infrastructure. And then mobile, please, can somebody do something about the mobile prices? Yeah, well, ATA's tried, yes. but uh, nobody's following. SLC tried. Nobody follows. And it's very interesting to hear uh, somebody like Alan Notcraig, senior, the guy who's taking over as CEO of CellC, saying things like pricing, pri- uh, a price war is not a strategy. It is a tactic, a short-term thing. Um, it's not something that will win you subscribers in the long term, uh, which was well, a very interesting, bold statement from him to make. CellC all of a sudden was appearing interesting. I know a lot of people that were starting to look at CellC. I looked at CellC. Then I was on CellC. Then I went back to Vodacom. <laughs> just was the quality not good enough yeah quality was bad customer service was bad went to Vodacom they always have smiles on their faces when they see me interesting they just see you coming yeah <laughs> they love Hi. you you're paying our salary exactly <laughs> <laughs> or they're just very worried with her to, go, to, to have to go and face Kerber's visa <laughs> <laughs> the new ad campaign is just brilliant yeah yeah if he's going to shout like that I'm not going to yeah maybe, maybe that's it but so far, Kobe's visa does I'm a visit to to telecom sh- shops, ah, uh, telecom shops every uh, every month. Yeah, <laughs> shouts at them. Yeah, <laughs> right. Anyway, in any case, sorry. Google, Johan, uh, Google recapture. Okay, I'm sorry if you knew about this. I didn't. Recapture. Everybody should know about it. It's an irritating box that you've got to try and figure out what the figures are they put inside of it. And then type it in so you can actually continue on to the yeah, so, so that you can we- prove you're not a bot. Yeah, Correct. so we- yes. websites can yeah, find, Try be sure that you're a human. Yeah. Now, by looking for a specific service on Google today, I ended up on a blog post. Um, Google themselves actually don't list all these services anymore on their website. Okay, so they've got a very summary page now. And if you, you've got to go deep. And I found this website and realized that ReCapture is a Google service. So what Google is doing is they are using the stuff that they've scanned and they're presenting two-word capture, of which the one they know which is correct, and the second one, they're and hoping a human being not sure. will be able to enter oh, the right text. That, that one is scanned from a book and then uh, OCR. Uh, apparently, both are actually scanned f- from a book. Okay, but the one they do know. And the one that they've... But they, they also pick words that, they've had st- that they struggled to OCR. Yes. 
So both words, they're struggling to OCR. Well, the one they know the answer And the one to. they've confirmed now. Yes. So, and a half the reason why you want that is it makes it harder for bots to OCR those words. Yeah. Because if Google can't OCR it, somebody writing a bot to OCR is also going to be hard. Mm -hmm. Now, but they also cheat with the second word is, is one that they don't know about. Yes. And they, they get humans to help translate yeah. and OCR yes. for them. Yes. So I just think it's amazing in the fact that they actually, this is the way they, they're OCRing their books. The thing I do want to figure out is, have you ever just locked yourself out of your Gmail account? No. I have not managed that. I no. have not but managed that. I mean, just try it one day. The, the capture that comes up there is not recapture. Oh, wait. What, what I have managed to do is enter my password wrong a few times. It's not completely... Not lock out, no, sorry. No, yeah, yeah, I think if you put it in wrong twice, then it goes, you might be a bot. Now you have to put in a recapture yeah. with your password. Now oh, that... But it's not a recapture. It's just a capture. It's a capture. So I'm like... How are you not supporting yourself? Yeah. It doesn't make no, sense. But those are harder ones. So they've actually picked ones that are a bit harder. I, I just... Uh, I, I guess, yeah, out. for that, it's for Gmail. They don't want So bottom line, if you are using that. any captured service on your website, just go look at Google's recapture and help the OCR process of all their books. I mean, if you go to... Uh, that okay. is, that, that's brilliant. For those who aren't viewing the video stream, there's a recapture with the two words in the, in the recapture box saying Google takeover. <laughs> okay. But if you want to find it, it's like anything from Google, www.google.com forward slash recapture. Mm. Um, before we move on, a topic that ties into the, to, to the previous telecom topic that's come, uh, some, it top, it's come up in RC. I think we do need to discuss it. Another big breaking story this week has been that telecoms come under fire from ZTE Mzansi. Uh, for uh, the, the story we ran last week, I think, which is that Telcom is uh, busy upgrading its ADSL exchanges, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to this new high-speed infrastructure that's supposed to give us ADSL 2+, plus, VDSL 2, super high-speed 40 megabit per second ADSL or, or DSL services, again, right? Again, say I'll go for 10, please. Yeah, 10 will be great. Um, be and, so, and that's partly what, why I bring this up is because people in the IRC are saying, listen, it, uh, it'll be great if I could just get 10 megasecond, please. You know, price cuts are all fine and well, <coughs> but, <laughs> but 10 megasecond. Now, Telcom, before that can happen, my understanding is Telcom really has to rejuvenate its infrastructure. And that's part of what this, this project is, um, you know, to put down these what's called MS, MSANs, yeah, yeah. uh, multi-service access nodes. That's, so that needs to be put down. Now ZTE is saying that the, they were unfairly disqualified from the tender process. Oh, um, no. And so they've got a high court interdict against now. I'm still trying to figure out how this is possible. With Telcom as a private company, how can the court say how Telcom should award its business? That's something that <coughs> I don't quite understand. If they, went, if they went for a public tender process, there is a specific way you've got to do it. Do it. It's, it's, so, it's, they went so regardless if they're a private company or not. No, you, you've basically done a contract because a lot of these people have to actually put a, pay money and do a lot of work in the back end to be able to submit to these tenders. So you've actually said, here's my tender. These are the things we, we require. And if these guys say, well, we matched all your requirements – and now you threw us out while well, you haven't met your side of the bargain. Yes, yeah. Um, and that's, that's ex exactly what ZT is saying. So we'll have to wait and see. But now it's holding up the whole MSAN rollout. Um, so, so that 10 megasecond everybody wants? Yeah. Okay. Just hold on. Thanks, I'm, ZTE. Yeah, you rock. Um, well, but I mean, no, I must say, it, I, on one side, yes. And on the other side, I, I Telcom. Just, I want to see both sides of the story first. So uh, ZT um, have given us theirs. Telcom has just said that their its processes are on trial. ZT has said, oh, hang on a second. Your processes are fine. The problem is you didn't follow them. Yeah. So I want to see what Telcom has to say about that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to touch on that before we move on to the next topic, which is cloud anyway, storage. I don't even actually, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want 10 megs down. I'm actually happy with 4 megs down. You just want I'll 4 even be happy megs with, up. I want 1 meg up. Just 1 meg. Just 1 meg. Well, for now. I, I, will, I will give up 2 of my megs down for 1 meg up. Because, like, now we're streaming. Okay. We, we can only push out 350 kilobits per second, mm. um, which, you know, we could have so much better quality stream and... Well, at the moment, it just makes cloud storage a problem. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to back up my photos, and I get to You have so many photos. Yeah, I've, well, I'm going I, I, way I've back. trying and, to uh, back up all our old shows, of which yeah. we have 430 gigs. And I figured it out now I can do about 10, 10 gigs over a weekend. Well, I, my, yeah, I mean, it's... No, your calculations can't... Oh, no, that could be right. I worked out for 430 gigs. Oh, physically, that's what I did. I left... I don't turn off my server stream at the maximum speed I can do yeah. it's going to take me 70 days 
But yeah, so now I use the office line with the one, at least there's a 10 meg service there. So we get about 800 kilobits going up. And I just left my notebook there for the weekend. Um, then five o'clock when I know everyone went home, started it up. And by six o'clock the Monday morning, I did about mm. 10 gigs. It's something... I, I don't want to opine too loudly, but I think telecom does have to, for, for guys like us, and I don't know how big that market is, but they have to be careful that if LTE launches before they've got services like that on the ground f affordably for people like us who just need to be able to use it as casual content generators. Um, I, I would just, I mean, this LTE is fantastic upstream. Uh, I get four or five megabits per second upstream sometimes. You uh, can cook an egg on that dongle. Though. Yeah, yeah. The, the dongles are getting better. Um, I've seen some of the new ones. Uh, Why don't better. these guys see the problem in the market and give us a service that you can... Because everybody's got the problem... No, wait. Everybody's got the problem to do the catch-up. So why can't I go to Voter World, maybe give them 100 bucks, plug into the network there and just get my backlog done? Because then going, when you've up to... But that's what you're battling with. When, you've, when we've backed up that stuff or got it onto the cloud storage, the day-to-day -day updates, I'm happy. Then I can go. I mean, guys, wake up. Give us that Drive service. Drive over to where the, where the CCOM cable meets. Jack in straight to the cable. <laughs> no, I don't have a bucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a bucky. But yeah, something like that. Just give us that type of service. Walk into, I mean, yeah, come on, Vodacom. You've got Voda World. Give us a nice shop there that you, the guys know you can go there and get it a proper, what, one gig connection or whatever. I'm mm. guessing that... And the, that favors up over down. For example, that means yeah. that people can't ream you to you know yes, come in, yeah, yeah. torrent like crazy well, people. No, so you're down as what are you saying? Just like paying for it. Yeah, yeah. So you buy bandwidth. Yes. Just don't care how you. So I can either down. Let's say I've got a big download. Give us high quality bandwidth in one location. So I've got to what go there. What I pay yeah. for? Yeah. I mean, there's a good service. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, let's talk about cloud storage. Another, another great service. Yeah. Well, Johan, I think you should talk about this since you uh, are grabbing our face in how much, how many gigs of storage you have in it. Okay, so I've been using a, a, a service called Dropbox. I think you all know about it. I, I now, think we all use it. Yeah, up to yesterday, if you had all your referrals done, you could actually, you get your default two gigs and then you could actually earn another eight gigs. Now, there's a 250 meg, the, 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 when you actually just complete the steps on the web page, there's the first 250 megs. I'm not sure where they filled it in. So I got to the office this morning, switched on my notebook, and up pops this little window. You can see it on my blog. It says space increase. Good news. You, have, uh, you now have 22.2 gigs of storage space on Dropbox. Now, whoopee. I mean, that is just, that just, I've been living in that 10 gig space. I've been making it work. Fit my stuff in there. Now it's double. Now I see a couple of things. I mean, number one, um, this is very close to these rumors of uh, Google Drive. Yeah. <laughs> this is very close to when things started getting exciting about Google Drive. Um, does a company like this now maybe see it as a challenge? And now we need to change our service. The second thing is they didn't change their sign-up storage. So it's still on 2 gig. Mm. So I'll give you a letter. If they do change that to 5 gig, then they're obviously shouting, no, Google is a, is a challenge. Mm. And I would be scared. I mean, banks are scared of Google. Um, you, you know, with, with the, the type of services that they're launching, Google Wallet and content pro um, providers are scared of Google with, uh, with YouTube. and, and well, It's just so big. Yeah, exactly. So if Google enters your space, I'd nip. Mm. I'd, I'd be scared. Mm. So, so let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. It's, it's good. It, well, Dropbox, also, they've I, just I finished a big round of funding. So there may be a bit yeah. of money to entice more people in. Well, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, we know storage gets cheaper. So... A service like this, if they, I mean, the problem I do have with Dropbox is they don't always follow up with, with, with official information. So this morning after this happened, I mean, I was Googling around to see, and it's, everybody was just on, I mean, Twitter was the most information I could get. I with think a if lot you of, climb on their forums, you'll get a lot more information. The, but the, I mean, the follow, it up, with a, it, follow it up with a proper announcement to say, oh, we have done this. It's not just a glitch yeah, in your account. release. It's not a glitch in your account and don't get excited, well, you're going to lose it all. Maybe they're testing. And once they're sure, they'll then do the release, which, you know, Dropbox tends to be a lot more. Well, after the scandal with the password issue, then, yeah, they're probably doing it a little bit more careful. But regardless, Google is going to have to ha show um, what they See, can do because the, the service is good. only way Google will get me to switch is if they have at least what Dropbox has. Windows, Mac, Linux, Android. I mean, they, they need to be cr cross-platform all over the place. <laughs> they, they need, need to be what CLI. Kindle is. They need to be what Dropbox is. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's just Polka and Kindle books and everywhere. And then offer me something else. So good tie-in with Google services. 
Yes. That's Which, a lot to ask for. No, I am don't I actually don't want it to be tied into Google service. That's half my problem is everything's tied into with Google services. And the problem with if that login goes, do you, <laughs> I don't, like I used to, I mean, I used to use my, my Gmail address, you know, for, sub, you know, signing up for spam, you know, spammy stuff. Now I'm so careful about who I give my Gmail address to because... Like I've got, so, well, my primary Gmail address, I've got mm, other time, Gmail addresses. Time to put uh, two-way authentication. Yeah, yeah, a two-factor authentic. I try to do also. that. It works great when you only log in in a couple places. Yes, yeah. When you start logging in lots of places. Mm, not so great. No. I turned it on for a while, and after like a week, it was like, I just can't handle I can't do this. Mm. Cool. Into our kicker, <coughs> which ties in very nicely with our recapture Recap story. <coughs> story. Thank you, Tim. On the other hand, Darren. <laughs> And basically, it's talking about the internet meme of Inglip. Um, and if you haven't come across this, it's awesome. <laughs> so for those, those of you watching the video stream right now, you will see the glory that is the summoning of Inglip into this realm. Um, for those of you watching the audio, for, for listening to the audio stream, go check out the show notes after this and, and go read up or just read up just, on just your go, meme. Just Google, Google for Inglip and it yeah, will yeah. come up and with that's spelled I -N -G -Lip. L I N-G-L-I-P. Uh, yeah. Or even s search for recapture meme. Yes. That we all give it. And basically what it is, is some guy while fiddling around with uh, the recapture came across with Inglip summoned. And he happened to then quickly do a quick comic about it. Yeah. Which was, yes, master. Well, basically it's, it's that this being called Inglip has been summoned by his, by recapture, recapture. And it's showing that it's summoned. And, and recapture is now the way that you speak to Inglip or how Inglip speaks to you. And then he went through going off asking recapture these questions and basically getting sort of pseudo answers back. Um, it's just awesome. Uh, uh, some of the stuff that they came back. Um, if you think every now and again with English, you actually get words. Um, like the, the followers are called Grop Pagas, uh, which was uh, what should we call ourselves and came back called Grop Pagas. <laughs> um, it's like a magic eight ball. <laughs> yes, it pretty much is. <laughs> Come on, you've, we've all done it with, with these things. You see, you, sometimes you get this word that somewhere in our brains are very wired for pattern matching. So we see patterns and we always relate them to ourselves. And, oh, this must be for me. No. Say, <laughs> no sorry, Tim, you're on your own there. But somebody's on. actually made a video on YouTube that actually shows <laughs> the conversation that runs back and it's forth. It's a whole series. The Chronicles so, of Lord Inglip. Oh. I wonder, because the Australians have this thing where if enough people say on a census that they belong to a certain religion, then it's recognized as an official religion by the state. Inglip. So they've already got Jedi uh, recognized this cool. way. We've, so, we've seen the Jedi place in New York. Yes, exactly. So I wonder if the religion of Inglip uh, isn't going to... <laughs> I think this do, one do is too much of a... Do in Australia? I, that'd be interesting I'm to sure, know as well. Sure that might be, look, this one I think is too much of a joke, is the guy's really are oh, you know if you just see they take they laugh a bit far less so than uh, Jedi I can't think that you take yourself too seriously if you write Jedi on the census form uh, uh, <laughs> you'll be amazed guys. how many people don't know the difference <laughs> and with that uh, Jan yeah, where can we find you that's the end of our show uh, Jan VZA on Twitter I'm also I'm the staff writer at My Broadband mybroadband.co.za uh, that'll redirect you to mybroadband.co.za forward slash news. And if you want to get to my author page from there, you go from the news route, you go author slash Jan Vermeulen. And uh, okay. that'll is there, is show you a Google search on your page. Everything I, no, it's just everything I've written on my broadband. Ah, okay, cool. Yep. Gerrit. Gerrit Vermeulen. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, at Hawkeys ZA. One word. Uh, I'm on Google+. Plus. Google+. Plus. Tell you what, go to about.me slash Hawkeys ZA. That'll give you everything you need to know. You have an app, which is currently on Playbook as well. I have two apps on the Android market. Uh, one is Droid Reader. The other one is... <laughs> Paste. <laughs> there we go. I can't remember the name right now. <laughs> I know the name of the app. <laughs> okay. And you've ported and one of them I've to ported, Playbook. Uh, yes. Uh, that would be Droid to Reader. I've ported to Playbook. And they gave me a free Playbook for it, too. Actually, oh, why did you end up having to call it? Uh, I called it Tablet to Reader. Very generic, because they wouldn't allow me to use the word berry... And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have had me uh, allowed the word play or book or probably black. So I just went with something generic so that it would just actually release. Just for interest's sake, if you just Google Orky ZA, the second hit is your app. So. Wow. Today but, I learned. Uh, careful, you are his friend and Google now makes... Yeah, it might be because... Yours. What I'm going to do is logged into your incognito account. window and continue and I will do the search. Cool. <laughs> Johan, where can we find you? 
uh, blog.who-lc.za. Oh, so you've been doing some updates recently? Ah, yeah, I've been getting some stories through, and uh, this one this morning was a quite interesting one. So, yeah, I'm there. Um, I do not hang out that much more in, in, in Twitter, but uh, I am there, and I am on Facebook, so just look for me. Okay, so that you know, if you Google Hockey ZA, first hit is my Twitter account. Second one is Apps by Me on Google Play Store. Cool. Uh, third one Play is about Store. dot. It's Google Play. Okay, I was going to say the not Android not market not the has been renamed. Book. Sorry, I, I got it wrong the first time. Um, third one is about dot me. The fourth one is my blog. The fifth one is BlackBerry App World. The next one is me on XDA. I have a channel on YouTube. I There's make, nothing there. I would make some T-shirts if I was you. <laughs> It's all your likes on Facebook. Mechanized oh. Supremacy, oh, Delane, cool. StarCraft 2, Hot of the Swarm preview trailer. Cool. <laughs> it works quite nice. Because you've got quite a unique name, which actually works quite well. Make a t-shirt. <laughs> I am. Will do. Yes. I know a place. With a QR code. Oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, if, if you Google my name, my handle, Java, comes up. <laughs> it's like, did you, did you mean did Java? You mean Java? No, I did not mean Java, Google. But if you Google Jan Vermeeren. <laughs> anyway. Cool. Uh, myself, Tim Hawk. You can find me on Twitter, Tim underscore Hawk. I'm not tweeting that much at the moment. Um, and pretty much you can find me in the shows, and that's pretty much it. What you can do, though, is you can go like Let's Talk Geek on Facebook. We're also on Google Plus and on Twitter. You can also buy us an air conditioner. You could do that, yes. As we go into winter. Luckily, winter is coming. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, thankfully. Talking about winter is coming. Uh, Game of Thrones is releasing and it is coming to uh, DSTV not too soon, not too, not too long after to the international. If you wish to legally get it. Game of Thrones season two. That yeah, season season two. one has already shown on DSTV. But, but it's hitting DSTV from next week, if I'm not mistaken. It, so we're it, not getting it that much after the international yeah, releases. That, that's three that's weeks, two weeks later. Three mm. weeks, yeah. yeah and it bad. was aired uh, to the rest of the world last week, Sunday. Mm. And to the people who have illegitimately got it. <laughs> <laughs> what is Game of Thrones? And on that note, we can say goodnight. <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> going to have a slam. Geek card. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.